We are going to go over our vocabulary words for this week. The first word is guard. The police officer will guard the bank. So everyone say the word with the computer. Ready? Guard. Good job. When you guard something, you watch over it and you keep it safe. The example is the police officer in this picture is guarding the bank. He's keeping the bank and the money in the bank and the people in the bank safe and watching over them. That way nothing happens to them. Why might you guard your backpack, do you think? Some people like to guard their backpack. Why would you want to do that? Maybe you would want to keep it safe, wouldn't you? Yes. Okay. Let's go on to the next word. The next word is... Rules. In school, everyone follows the classroom rules. Everyone say the word with the computer. Ready? Rules. Nice job. A rule is something that tells you what you can and can't do, such as the rules of a game. So in school, everyone has rules that we have to follow. We can't get out of our seat without asking. We don't talk out without raising our hands. We don't leave the classroom unless we ask the teacher, and usually we leave as a group. So we have all kinds of rules that we follow. What is another rule that you follow in school that I didn't mention? Okay, you guys probably have a lot of different answers to that. Let's look at the picture. In this classroom, the rules are to listen quietly when someone is speaking and to raise your hand if you want to say something. You notice that these children right here, right here, and right here want to say something. But they have their hands up in the air and they are waiting for the teacher to call on them because it looks like the teacher is reading them a book and they don't want to interrupt while the teacher is reading. So they want to say something or they want to ask something and they are raising their hand and waiting their turn. Okay, the next vocabulary word is... Prank. I played a prank by giving my brother a toy that popped out of a can and surprised him. Everyone say prank with the computer. Prank. Nice job. Let's listen to what a prank is. Prank. When you play a prank, you do something to fool people. So it's something you do to fool people. And a prank isn't done to be mean. It's done as a joke. And any pranks that we do, we never want them to hurt anyone. Like, for example, she played a prank on her brother by giving him a toy that popped out of a can and surprised him. Now, that surprised him, but it didn't hurt him, and it didn't make him feel any pain. So it's very important that our pranks never hurt anyone. How might you feel if someone played a prank on you? You might feel happy, you might start giggling, you might be mad, depending on what the prank is. Anything that you would feel is okay. Let's go to our next vocabulary word. Cooperate. The two boys cooperated to make a clubhouse. Let's say cooperate with the computer. Are you ready? Cooperate. Okay, let's listen to what cooperate means. Cooperate. To cooperate is to work with others toward a goal. 
So it means to work together with others toward a goal. The two boys here cooperated to make a clubhouse. They worked together. They helped one another, and they were able to get it finished much faster and much better. When have you had to cooperate to get it get something finished? Can you think of a time? Can you think of a time that you worked with someone else to finish something? Maybe you and your brother or sister share a bedroom and you had to cooperate and work together to get the bedroom clean because your mom or dad said go clean the bedroom and put your toys away. Maybe you and your brother or sister were both playing with the toy and you had to cooperate with one another and take turns and play together with that toy nicely. So there's a lot of different ways that we might have to cooperate with people. Here is our last vocabulary word. Responsible. The responsible children put away the toys after playtime. Responsible people do what they are supposed to do when they're supposed to do it. So they follow all of the rules and do exactly what they're supposed to do. These children in this picture knew that once playtime was over, they had to put away their toys. And so they're doing it. They're working together to do it and they're being responsible. If you own a pet, a cat, a dog, a fish, any type of a pet, how can you be a responsible pet owner? Maybe you can help to feed the dog or the cat, make sure they have food. Maybe you, if they spill their food, you can help clean it up. Maybe you can make sure that they have clean water to drink. So there's all kinds of ways that even though you're still young, you're in kindergarten, you're not all growing up yet, there's still ways that you can be a responsible pet owner and help with your pet. That is the end of our vocabulary video for today.